All right. Hey guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I've recorded, so I had to pull over and make sure that the I can get everything set up and don't make the mistake of thinking I'm recording when I'm not. So make sure my uh, recorder has like a gain set on and a setting on it. So it's manual and you have to actually turn it. It's been a couple times that I thought it was active and it wasn't. And it was at zero. It was supposed to be at like four or five. Anyway, it's been a while since I've recorded, but not a while since I've been riding. And it's a Saturday. We are in June. What is this? June 11th, I think. Yeah. June 11th. I didn't go to Americade this year because we are doing a bathroom over and I've been trying to push to get some progress doing that and I'm actually supposed to be doing that but I had to run to Home Depot. Well, actually, I actually went to BJ's to get some gas which is a whole nother vlog about gas prices. Then I went to Home Depot to get a filter for my uh, wet vac to suck up the, uh, the dust and dirt from the drywall. So I had threw out my other filters because they were just disgusting so I threw them out. After a while it's not good to keep running them same old filters. Anyhow, yeah, so after doing that, you know, quick uh, little stint about gas prices, man. They are, yeah, dude, it is bad. It's real bad, man. Only Our only little bit of a savior is that we go to BJ's. So when we go to BJ's, we kind of, we save a little bit there. And, you know, this is all just to kind of catch you up on what's been going on with me. Because I haven't been shooting any vlogs. I haven't been doing much. We're running along... Stewart Forest which is over here on my right I am running the session 4 which most of you may be familiar with and my GoPro Hero 9 which I don't even know if they came out with a 10 don't know if I care either but anyway <laughs> uh, usually I would sell whichever one I've got and get the newest one uh, keep some of the value out of the 9 and or 8 or whatever it is and sell it and get the newest one so uh, yeah, gas prices have gone nuts. Uh, BJ's has kind of been a savior. If I get their credit card, then I can uh, save a little bit when I get their credit card. So, uh, you know, that kind of helps. That does us a, a, a little bit of a good deed. I'm gonna make a right over here, head into my area. So that does kind of help and does us a little bit of a good deed as opposed to just going to any of these regular gas stations because regular gas stations they've they've upped the price so much that it's 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 nuts man you know bj's and i also have sam's club i got that through my job for, for about 20 bucks for the year membership so um in middletown they have a sam's club they have a gas station there if we decide to and then we got the bj's credit card which gives us a little bit of a discount there also so yeah, that's that. Uh, but we're, you know, we're as a family, we're getting slaughtered on gas, bro. Slaughtered, which I'm pretty sure every other American household family is going through, along with uh, everywhere else in the country, because it's just madness. But um, yeah, so we try to do the best with that, you know. But yeah, man, uh, I've been riding a little bit. I haven't been recording. This is the first video I've recorded for uh, this year, 2022 and i actually was was supposed to do laconia this year but this week but due to um us trying to get the bathroom done you know i was like you know what i need to take this time off and really try and get some progress done with that and they were supposed to have a guy come and help do the tiling and install the tub and then do the uh, do the tiling for the tub so yeah so yeah I've been trying to get progress with that right now I've been doing sheetrock new sheetrock for the bathroom not even sure if what they put in 
was the uh, mold proof sheetrock but that's what I've been working on and a lot of that stuff man I had to learn by going to YouTube believe it or not you know you go to YouTube and type in <laughs> how to do some of this stuff and these guys you know they'll teach you they show you step by step you know it's amazing so I'm not saying I did it perfectly because I did make some mistakes of course yeah it's true but um man I tell you I learned a lot I learned a whole lot yeah every now and again I goose it not very often though most times I just cruise around yeah man so <laughs> I really uh I really would love to to do another trip even if it's just a, a, a small camping trip but I don't think I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna have the time so you know work is crazy and then trying to spend time with everyone at home of course you got the YouTube channel but I haven't been pushing the YouTube channel as much as uh, I know I could because I know of uh, I definitely know of some different ways and things that I could do to push my channel more but unfortunately right now it's a it's a little more of a time issue than anything else so but um, you know I figure I'll, I'll try and get some blogs in as I can I don't think it'll be a weekly thing, which would be nice, but, you know. So, you know, <laughs> I've, I've had people, I've been chatting with people, and, you know, I got my friends, man, that we always chat bikes with, and we talk about bikes, and, you know, Americade had the demo rides this year, which would have been, man, amazing for me to go and check out and film. I would have loved, loved that but um yeah i didn't get to i didn't get to do that but that would have been that would have been really nice i heard indian had a whole lot of nice bikes there harley was there for the first time in a while which is cool um and actually once they're done they actually leave and they go they go right up to laconia so you know the same the same uh and it's kind of my how long am I gonna be sitting at this light? You know, it's kind of my little fib with Americade. You know, is that they charge you, you know, to go into the events and which is the demos and um, the area where they sell stuff. You know, they they charge you to go in there. But when you go to Laconia, I've heard it's all free. You know, you you just go in. The only thing you pay for is if you want to do uh, demo rides or anything like that or anything of the sort. You know, that stuff, you know, that stuff now you pay for. Obviously, that you know, they have to recoup that expense. But demo rides, they don't charge you for that. You know, you just, you just go in and the only thing with a Laconia is I'm not sure about it is the environment. So... You know, something I'd have to definitely check out and experience and see what it's like. So, but yeah, I, I would like to get to do that. Maybe next year, um, this bathroom should be done. And if we got another bathroom that we want to do, and, and I primarily do a lot of the work myself due to the cost of, uh, of contracting out. So, there's a lot of stuff that I, I would do myself, but... You know, to pay somebody probably wouldn't be that bad. So, but uh, anyway, um, back to uh, you know, talking about bikes. You know, I've got forty-seven. I got forty-seven nine eighty on this bike. Forty-seven thousand nine hundred and eighty miles on this bike. And I know for some, for V stars, this isn't much. This is like the beginning. Cause I've seen some V stars with over a hundred, you know. I seen one one time for sale over a hundred thousand miles, 
and nothing wrong with it it just needed a water pump because he said it overheats i was like easy fix and actually you know I, w I was gonna i wanted to buy it but i didn't have the idea in mind of how to get it how to get it back to new york it was in like massachusetts or something yeah, man shoot man i could have went to enterprise or u-haul probably better off going to enterprise rent the pickup truck throw that sucker in the back of the pickup truck or go to u-haul and rent the the trailer go up there pick it up bring it back down fix it turn around sell it maybe make a thousand dollars in the process you know so yeah you know what you're gonna do that would have been that would have been a nice little money maker but anyway yeah so um when it comes to miles man it's like just the beginning when you know with this bike but you know sometimes you do feel the need to try something different 